All right, everybody, Lloyd Hannison here from the Cast podcast uh, with the first look of Wolfenstein Youngblood. Um, it's not a new game. Uh, everyone's like, why are you doing a first look of an old game? Uh, this is a, a game that's been on Stadia for a while. Um, the reason why I'm doing a first look is because there's a huge Bethesda sale going on, and this game's on for, I think, $25, I want to say. Uh, I can't remember because I, I own it, <laughs> so I can't double check, but I believe that's what it was. Um, so it's uh, a pretty decent deal for a game like this. If you're not familiar with this game, it's a spin-off of the Wolfenstein games, uh, kind of the reboot of Wolfenstein. Uh, this one you play uh, as one, uh, once, one of the twins, set of twins, and uh, it's a co-op game, so you can play through the whole game co-op online, or you can play through it uh, with a AI uh, partner. And the way the game is set up is it's a series of trials almost. So you can go to maps and play them and replay them. There's collectibles. There's a bunch of stuff. Uh, I played a pile of this on the Nintendo Switch, which wasn't the best place to play this game. The game did look kind of muddy and a little black, uh, but it's going to look fantastic on Google Stadia. So anyway, let's get right into it. Uh, my name is Lloyd Hannison from the Stadia cast. As I said before, if you want to follow me on Twitter, I'm Dasme on Twitter, D-A-S-M-E. We're going to jump into this. We're going to do 15, 20, 30 minutes. We're going to see where the game takes us as we jump into Wolfenstein on Stadia. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm I'm streaming to me. Um, I'm actually not in the game, so it's not showing it. Uh, I'm uh, I'm streaming to me in 4K uh, or up to 4K, and but I'm only recording in 1080p. So that's why you're only getting a 1080p video. Uh, just because uh, 4K videos are way too large. And when you're doing a half hour of a game that you then have to go and maybe edit some stuff out, uh, it just adds so much time. So uh, if you're interested, we can do a um, best quality uh, video um, and uh, we'll, we'll see what uh, what that looks like. So anyway, let's jump right into it. So uh, let's welcome to Wolfenstein Youngblood. You're one of the Blaskowitch sisters, uh, Jess and Soph. Uh, you will now select your character and starting a loadout. Since Jess and Soph are twins, they are equally proficient, so you'll be able to use the same weapons and gear and learn all the skills the game has to offer. To so go through each selection, press X to view more information before making your choice. Can't remember who I played as before. I mean, it doesn't really matter. They're pretty much exactly equal. Um, I think blonde hair might be easier to see but usually wearing a helmet so it's not even like you need to say that so let's just choose that one uh golden eagle or blue shark let's go gold why not bolt head or hammerhead let's do hammerhead do you want a machine pistol or a pistol uh what's the information short range weapon the very fast fire rate and it's affecting its late enemies let's get a drum magazine upgrade with this weapon Pistol is a medium range weapon, slow fire rate, and it's effective against heavy enemies. It's also suitable for stealthy players as it comes with a silencer upgrade. Okay, let's do that. Uh, we're gonna do now hatchets? I think I did hatchets before, they look really cool. Uh, is there a difference? Uh, cosmetic, yeah, there, that's what I thought. So we'll do hatchet. And do you want to crush or cloak ability? So what this is, is you unlock different abilities in the game that allow you to do different things. Uh, so you get one for free, Crush is an offensive ability suitable for aggressive players, sprint into late enemies and inflict damage and knock them to the ground. You can also perform a slam attack by pressing B while in midair. Cloak is a stealth ability for sneaky players. I'm going to do stealth. <clears throat> and do you want health prep or armor prep? Uh, this is... Yeah. That's right. I want health. All right, let's hit finish. Okay, so we're going to host a game. Uh, nobody. I want this to be an offline game for right now. And let's jump on. So that is much of the character creations you're going to get into in this game. I'm going to turn my camera off for this intro. And of course, this is a mature rated game, so there could be swears, there could be, there will be blood, <laughs> there'll be lots of violence, but uh, go through and let this happen. Take your head off, Jess. Come on now. What is that thing? It's a big horn. No 
idea what it's doing in these parts. Must have strayed from the flock. Five more. Looks scared. Yeah. Driven off by the storms, I reckon. I don't know about this. Can I take the shot? Uh-uh. Situation like this, you need to pay attention to your surroundings. Your mind will slip into that scope. Awareness will narrow to the head of a pin. You make sure while you're stalking that bighorn. You're still watching out for what's stalking you, baby. Good. Good, all right. All right, tell me what you're sensing. It's gonna rain soon. Good. What else? Uh, I don't know, there's a... There's a band of coyotes about 100 yards northeast of here. Five more, Zofia, kick! <gasps> kick! <gasps> Keep your hands up. Again. No, no more, Mama. This is how you die. This is the moment they get you. We die because we let them kill us. You will face a big, strong Aryan true believer who can push through pain for one second longer than you do. And that's all it takes. When does it stop, Mama? Listen, Kokanya. To survive is to embrace the suffering, to stand up and carry it. Okay? Teraz jeszcze pięć. Five more. Nie bać to. Hey, language Sofia. Daddy. Yep. What else? Daddy? Are you leaving? awareness. It'll save your life. <laughs> come on now. Take your shot before the rains come. I was beginning to think you lacked that killer instinct. Screw you, Arthur. Ah, uh, girls, you be nice to each other. Come <laughs> on. What? It's a compliment. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Our girls are young women now. When did that happen? What's the matter, darling? Gotta get out of the rain. All right. Well, I didn't really want to talk over that while it was going on. Um, while I was waiting, I looked into it, and this game is nineteen fifty on the uh, Stevia store right now. So it's on sale for nineteen dollars and fifty cents. All right, let's jump in. I think there's going to be more. A little bit more. Scalpel. So you girls are sisters against All right, let's skip this. We'll let Remember, you girls, if you get it, you can you watch are it. The daughters of the man who killed Adolf fucking Hitler. You were born to do this. Your target, General Winkler, should be in the front end of the Zeppelin. Copy that, Abster. I like that. Um when I brought up the computer, it was very big. Um, there was an issue with text when this game first launched on the Switch where you could barely read anything. They've fixed that, which is great. All right, so click R3 to perform a takedown. Owie. All right, so let's, uh, so all throughout the game, there's going to be things like this where there's two interaction things. Uh, when you're playing co-op, 
your co-op person will run to it naturally. If you're playing uh, online co-op or, lo or local co-op or whatever, any sort of co-op that isn't with computer-controlled people, there's going to have to be some talking to get that all figured out. As they were trespassing in my Zeppelin, I appreciate if you could just, you know, kill them immediately. Thank you. So let's uh get some more ammo. Another issue this game had was a uh a lack of ammo. Uh and they fixed that as well. So there's been a lot of patches since uh I first played this game. Okay, press and hold R1 to enter the weapon selection meal. Wheel. I must be hungry. <laughs> when you have additional handguns or heavy weapons in your inventory, press left and right to toggle weapons within the same slots. Okay, so let's open this guy. Got my silenced weapon. So hitting a guy with a helmet with a headshot did nothing. Are we? What the hell? It's the first guy. Oh, hey buddy. Down. Oh. I'm knocked out, so oh. I'm back in the fight. Let's shoot the Nazis. Oh, jeez. I'm not paying attention here. Okay, I think my sister's down too. Nope. She's not. Okay, I need to slow down. Back in action and ready to go, sis. I am taking way too much damage. I'm used to playing this when I've had some upgrades. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not going to be stealthy anymore. Might as well just... I want to show off another mechanic that's in the game. So throughout, there's going to be things like this. I think we need a code to open these doors. Oh, it's not this one. There's one that has a, a, a computer that you have to use. Uh, so one of you uses the computer to generate a code. The other one goes to the panel and punches it in as it comes up on the menu. It's, uh, it's actually pretty pretty darn cool. And there's silver coins and gold coins everywhere. You can use those for to buy things, obviously, in the game. There's, uh, there's a lot to this, and th there's a lot more to do than there was at launch as well. Okay, teaching you how to revive. Got some ammo. Okay, so we need to find that code. It basically is showing me on my HUD where the code box is. Floppy need disk. Computer so, we can decrypt this. so that's the floppy. Now I need to go to the box to decode it. So there's usually a mainframe or a computer somewhere that you can use to decode the things. I want the silver. 
Okay, let's see. That's an armor. All right, so let's go to the floppy terminal. Okay, going to floppy terminal and then hit Y to decode. Got the code right here, so. 8431. Go back to the door. Go here. Um, and it see, uh, you can see on the top, I'm pointing at my screen, which obviously isn't going to work, but it gives you what the code is. So you don't even have to remember it. So you know if you've... <laughs> so you know if you've decoded a floppy the proper way or read some some text to get what the code is it'll just tell you it is very hard to see with all my lights on See that guy. I need my weapon. Try this one for a little bit. Grab some armor. Ooh, level up one. Okay, so we can show off the leveling up mechanic. Oh, that's my sister. Try not to kill your co-op partner. a lot of armor, which is good. As you can see this guy has um, more uh, more things on his on his life bar. He is obviously a uh, bigger and badder. Uh, enemy. So you can see there's uh, destruction in this game. There's so much. This, this is actually a really fun game. Even though it's not a full full Wolfenstein game, it is definitely, it's more of a, um, um, what's a good, a division sort of, something like that, where you're basically, oh jeez. I need need to uh, oh, upgrade a little bit. Okay, so those guys are coming all around. Let's go back a little bit. Let's see if there's anything over here that we missed. That'll give me some time to level up. All right, so let's go store? No, that's the store store. Here we go. Okay, so let's go character. Okay, so here's the upgrade thing. So you can see at the top of the screen, I have 239 silver, I have zero gold, and I have one of the upgrade things. So you can divide things into the mind, muscle, and power. So it'll do things like uh, give you more uh, cloaking. Um, so you can you can move better when you're cloaked. Uh, there's that crush. That was the two choices that I had. Uh, you obviously need to be a little bit more powerful with this one. So let's go to muscle. Um, this will give me, I need, I need way more stuff to upgrade. This one, gain 25 health and 25 armor after being revived by your sister. Uh, health plus, increase your maximum health to 125. Ammo collector, uh, side dasher, things like that. So I'm going to choose this one. 
and this will permanently upgrade that. And now I have a higher health, so I can he I can heal up to uh, 125 instead of 100. You can buy different boosts. Um, what else? There's other things in here. I'm not seeing it. Uh, there's the upgrades. You can upgrade uh, various weapons. Um, so you can upgrade uh, the various parts of it, and they give you different stats. Um, there's skins in the game as well uh, that you can unlock or just get access to. Some of them you have to spend gold on. Uh, some of them you can spend silver on. Um, I had a whole bunch of unlocked skins on the Switch. I haven't linked my Bethesda account here, I don't believe. So maybe maybe that will uh, that will help. Uh, maybe that'll give me some things. But uh, all right, so we're, we've upgraded. So push up. Up signals. What on earth is that? What on earth is what? The robot? He's a robot. All right, we're at 20 minutes. We're almost to where I wanted to end this one. Let's finish this uh, final. Come on, pop your head up. Pop your head up. So I hit I hit thumbs up, and it put my put my thumbs up, which gave me uh, 50 health, I believe it is. Uh, but you can see that um, there's that little health thing on the right side of my screen, so I have to wait for that to fill again before I can do that. All right. All right. Let's get all all the things. All the things. Uh, the good thing with um, with the peps is they they overheal you or over army arm armor you. <laughs> uh, I don't I don't know the best way to say that. Uh, so I'm gonna go with that, and um, that will slowly tick down. So if I hit up, you can see I'm 175, and then it slowly ticks down back to 125. So it's a good way to heal. If you're under your health, it'll stay there. If you're over, you get a little bonus, um, just like over shield kind of, and then it can. Um, it can slowly tick down. I like meleeing. Because you craft their weapon a lot of the times, which is pretty funny. So instead of just using the axe and then that being your active weapon, you actually get another weapon, which is great. All right, so I'm fine now, dude. Let's be able to unlock 55 weapon upgrades. Yeah, no, I'm not going to be upgrading my weapons right now. Okay, so that opens from the other side. So I got to get through here some other way. How are we going to do that? This is pointing me in a direction. Ah, little elevator. On so can you believe this? You're shooting Nazis on a fucking Zeppelin, dude. I wish daddy could see us. So, yeah, now. you can't just notice you can't really see my ammo and stuff like that. So, I may move that a little bit. So, let's move this, put it over here for right now. That works. All right. Weapon upgrades. Oh, that's a health, right? That's health. No, that's coins. Coinage. This one is health. Open shared life crate, actually. It's even better. It'll give me a one up, essentially, <laughs> if we if we both die. Wager, you could help me with this, sis. Okay, so we've got a shared life. We're kitted out. We're that? upgraded. All right, and we are on a Zeppelin. The graphics already look way better than the Switch, <laughs> which is kind of a no duh moment, but, I just love these but it is what it computers. is. Okay. Something interesting to read so on the uh, 
the uh, commanders will actually radio in additional people to come kill you. So they're they're good to kill super fast. They usually wander around with their regalia on with just a, a normal helmet type thing. Oh, it just flew off his head. Ooh. back here. It's a shoddy. Must have picked this up from someone. Shotgun is crazy powerful. But of course slow. Taking their legs out. So these guys, um, they can have different armor on and different weapon types, different different, uh, uh, I guess, additives to your to your armaments will allow you to do additional damage. So right now it doesn't really matter too much, but down the word down the road you're gonna have to pay attention to those things a little bit. Is there anything in the, the meat locker? No? Nothing? Really? That's... I got two character abilities and 73 weapon upgrades. Amazing. All right. What are we at? We're at 27 minutes. I think this is going to about do it. We're going to go in here. You are getting a great load of story material here for a book, so... Yeah. Power jump. Press A and A again to perform a power down. jump. Forgot about that. Totally forgot about that. Let's so get a double jump. Get up, get up. Ouch. Thank you, so. I don't want to know where I hit him. I can remember the button to uh, stop ducking. <laughs> uh, so I did a little panic and I hit him in a place you don't want to get hit with an axe. Oopsie. Sorry, buddy. All right. Well, I think that gives you a good idea of what this game is going to be like. Um, the, as I said, the full game is available to play online. Uh, once you unlock your central base, there's a bunch of different missions that you can go on. Um, you unlock different mission, um, uh, I guess, objectives. So you might have, say, go to this city, but there could be a bunch of different missions in that city as you unlock things down the road. Um, then you're, as I said, upgrading your your guns, upgrading your yourself, upgrading everything. Um, it it becomes it becomes really fun. Uh, this isn't a full like narrative game from start to finish there's story missions but it's not like a standard wolfenstein game where you start in an area and you're fighting all the way through to the final boss this is a little bit different than that but um it can be super addicting and again the whole being able to play uh, online with a friend and go through the whole thing like that is uh pretty darn awesome so anyway that's gonna do it for me lloyd hanson from the stadia cast this game's on sale for under 20 bucks right now uh, pretty decent deal. You can get a lot of gameplay out of this one. Um, plus, it looks and plays amazing. Um, for some reason, my stadium menu isn't coming up. Um, so I can't see if I'm even what resolution I'm at. <laughs> but uh, it, uh, it looks way better than the Switch, we'll say. Um, what the hell? My sister just 
went in the air? That was weird. She went all the way up here. That's crazy. I just saw her disappear. <laughs> Oh, so bizarre. Anyway, uh, again, that's going to do it for me, Lloyd Hannison from the Stadia Cast. Check out the Stadia Cast. We record every Sunday here on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash StadiaCast at 10 a.m. Eastern. Uh, if you want to just listen to the podcast um, on audio form, you can go to anchor.fm slash StadiaCast, or you can just search for StadiaCast on whatever podcatcher you use to listen to your MP3-based podcasts. So anyway, that's going to do it for me, Lloyd Hannison. Take it easy, everybody, and we'll talk to you next time here on StadiaCast. You scared, Jess. Do I look scared to you? It's okay, Jess. I get scared sometimes, too. Well, I never get scared, and that's that.